Educators, are you searching for some math STEM activities to use with your group of learners? Well, in this video, we'll take the traditional paper plate clock project and bring it to life. <laughs> Using the Makey Makey device and Scratch. We'll tell time to quarter past, half past, quarter to, and o'clock. So go grab your favorite Pinterest design, come back to this video, and let's get started in just a moment. Hello world, Surfing Scratcher here, I teach a surfer programmer and on this channel I make how-to coding videos for curious learners and educators. If you're digging this content then consider hitting that subscribe button down in the bottom corner to stay in the loop. And if you're an educator in the house and you want news and resources sent straight to your inbox then consider joining the Surfing Scratcher mailing list, a link below in the description. But hey, let's go check out the materials that we'll need for this clock. Paper plate and some cardboard, craft glue, ruler, paper fasteners, a protractor, a Makey Makey Invention Kit, some graphite pencils, a box cutter, a compass, some copper tape. You might also want a cutting board as well. For your convenience, I've created a kit on kit.co where you can pick and choose the materials that you'll need for this project. Alright, let's start making this clock. To start off with our clock, I've got here a paper plate and some cardboard that we're going to use to construct our clock. First thing that you want to do is on your paper plate, just eyeball where you think the center is. I'm going to use a marker or a sharpie just to demonstrate this for you. Cool, there's my center. Next thing I want to do is I want to measure the radius. The diameter is the full length across and the radius is just the half. So I'm going to roughly see what that is. And here using this protractor, it's approximately 10. So I might even go nine centimeters. So I've got a nine centimeter radius. I've just drawn the radius on the paper plate, but you wouldn't do this for your project. Now that we have our nine centimeter radius, what we want to do is draw a circle on our cardboard here. To help us do this, we'll need a compass with a pencil. Stick the compass in the center of the cardboard. And what you want to do is measure out that radius that you just got before. So here, you want to measure out nine centimeters for me. So I'm measuring out nine centimeters and that's done. And I'm going to use my compass to draw that circle. There we go, you can see my circle outline right there. If you don't have extra cardboard and you don't want to use it, you could just use two paper plates and you could just cut out the inner circle of the other paper plate. So I've just gone ahead and cut out that circle from the cardboard, so we don't need this cardboard anymore. Next thing I'm going to do is get a ruler and just draw a diameter across the center of this circle. I'm going to use a marker, but you would probably use a graphite pencil. Okay, you can just eyeball it if you want. So I'm just going to eyeball this one, but you could also use a protractor to be more precise. This cross is going to form this frame on our clock and inside each of our quarters of our frame we will have a puzzle piece and this is the piece that we'll use with the Makey Makey. To construct our frame, I'm just going to zoom in. I put half a centimetre measurement on either side of this line here. So I'm just going to mark that with a graphite pencil and I'm going to do that for each line. Now I've just got my ruler and now I'm just connecting the, all those dots that I've made. You might be able to see this, but I've just got some graphite outlines here. Now there's a spot where all these edges meet. We'll call them these corners, and I'm just going to mark them with the marker there. Now our job is to cut out each of these quarters of our frame. You could use a box cutter to do this, or a pair of scissors. I prefer the box cutter, but if you're working with younger kids, then obviously use the scissors. Now that I've cut out all my pieces, I need to put them on the paper plate to make sure they fit. I'm just going to use a bit of blue tack to put underneath the frames to fasten it to the paper plate. Okay, so my cross is fastened to the paper plate. I'm just going to insert my pieces to make sure that they all fit. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Before you stick your cross down, you could colorize it and make it a little bit more visually appealing. The next stage of this process is going to involve putting down the split pins on your clock. What you'll need to go ahead and do is put in some little holes in your paper plate. They can go wherever you want, so long as there's two. And you don't want them right next to each other because you don't want them to collide. I'll just spin this over. So you want a little bit of a gap between the two split pins because you don't want them colliding. Because we will attach our Makey Makey cable to these split pins. So you can see here, I've just got my marker and I have created those holes. Then you can get a box cutter or a pencil or a pair of scissors and you just want to make a small little gap so you can insert those split pins into those marks. 
Once you've used the box cutter to make those holes, you can get your split pin and insert them through those marks. Just like that. You want to do this for all of them, but I'm just going to do it for this quarter up here. I recommend making all the inside ones, the ground and all these buttons here on the outside. They'll refer to different buttons when we code them, but we'll worry about that when we get to the scratch part. Okay, once we've created all those marks, we're going to take out those split pins and we want to put our pieces back onto the clock. Okay, at this point, I'm going to get another paper plate and just put it on top so all those pieces don't fall out. Then I'm going to carefully flip it over, just like that. And on this side, might be a bit hard to see here, but I've got all those holes here on the back of the paper plate. I'm going to get a pencil now and just insert that pencil into each mark that I've made. And it's going to create a little mark on the cardboard. And that is going to be the indicator for us where we need to stick our copper strips to. So I'm just inserting the graphite pencil, just giving it a little bit of a twirl. And you'll see in a moment the marks that have been made on the cardboard. And you can see here I've got two marks and this is where I'm going to insert a copper strip because this is what is going to complete the circuit. Okay, so I've just got my copper strip here and I'm going to cut this into four long lines. Now that I have my four copper strips, I'm going to flip over each of my cardboard segments here and I'm going to insert a strip connecting those two circles or those two dots that we made earlier. You might need to resize your copper strip if it just hangs over the edge like that. There we go, there's one piece of the puzzle. So you can see here I've got all my segments with the copper strips and when we flip them over, they'll be touching the split pins that would be there and once we insert the piece, it will connect the circuit. So what we should do now is just go over to Scratch and hook it up and just see if this is actually working. Okay, so you'll see over here in Scratch, I've just got a when the up arrow is key pressed block and a play sound that I've just recorded and it just says quarter past. Over here in the Makey Makey, you'll see that I've got the red cable connected to the up arrow and I've got the yellow cable connected to the ground and I've just fastened them to those split pins. So we'll turn our paper clock back over and I might just orient it so it looks like quarter past there. Then we've got our puzzle piece. You'll see here that when I overlap it, that copper tape will connect, basically act as a bridge between those two split pins. So when we turn it over, it should activate the sound on scratch. So let's try it out. It's quarter past. It's quarter past. It's quarter past. All right, so there you go. Our little test has worked and obviously just saying it's quarter past all the time is not going to be the best solution for us, but we'll sort that out a little later. So I've just flipped over the clock and I've connected up all the arrow keys of the Makey Makey to various pins. Now what I've also gone ahead and done to minimize the cables over here is just create a paperclip trail here to connect all the ground elements because they're all going to be the same. So rather than just having here on the Makey Makey all other alligator cables connected to the ground. I've just connected one to the yellow and I've connected a paperclip trail. And that seems to work. When I flip over the paper plate, you'll see that I've got my four segments here ready to go. Over here in Scratch, you'll just see for the moment, I've got when the right arrow, down arrow, left arrow, and up arrow is pressed. I've just got my recordings here. Our final project won't be like this, but it's good enough for our test. So I'm gonna turn over one of these pieces and let's see what happens. It's quarter past. Cool, it's quarter past. Now we'll turn over the half past. It's half past. Let's turn over the quarter two. It's quarter two. And finally, when our minute hand has made it all the way around the clock once, it is o'clock. It's o'clock. I think a better thing to do in Scratch is rather than having one of these flipped over, I would say that the quarter past and the half past needs to be flipped over to say half past because it's no good just turning the half past one over when the quarter past one is not flipped over. So we'll check that out in part two of this tutorial. It's time for a Scratchy question and this week I want to pose a Scratchy challenge to you. So a few moments ago I shared with you that we want to turn over the segments to reflect how many minutes have passed on the clock. So I want to see if you can do that before I release the solution in part two. That's your challenge. Thanks for checking out this math STEM activity on how to make a paper plate clock project. 
If you found some value, then smash that like button and consider joining the Surfing Scratch mail list, link below in the description. I'll also eventually have some worksheets that educators can use alongside this video as well. But until then, keep an eye out for part two. I'm off to go find a way. I'll catch you in the next one.